Okay, hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? Before we start, uh, just to make sure you can hear me and see me okay, because obviously last time on Monday, fun day, we had a problem with the uh, video camera for some reason. So just put it in the chat if you can see me, hear me, uh, then we can crack on, as they say. Got a new mug, by the way. Look, it says, great. Yeah, if you can put in the chat, if you can hear me, that'll be great. Thank you, M. Kaylee. That is brilliant. And Fatima. Lovely. OK, first off, uh, great live by Marty and Chris. These things are uh, understandable, acceptable. Uh, it's part of the course. Uh, I suppose, but I actually did like uh, Marty's uh, expl explanation uh, of it all, that we choose to be here. Nobody's making us stay. Nobody's forcing us to believe or not to believe. And, uh, I, you know, I really liked what he had to say. And that's what I love about on Passive is our free will at the end of the day. And as far as information is concerned, we tell you truthful information of what we know. We can't tell you any more than that. Uh, if we have information, uh, we divulge it and we give it to you. So talking of information, first thing I want to bring to the table then for you guys, uh, been seen on social media posts of Otrim supposedly being uh, in uh, the apps store. I had a look into uh, iPhone on the iOS system, didn't see it on there, but so it must be on Android. Apparently, Otrim as an app is there. Right, I'm going to say this and I cannot be more blunt about what I am saying. Unless the company give you the link in your ecosystem, your OES, okay, do not download it, okay. Until it has been officially confirmed by the company, do not download it. Now, why am I telling you this? Because I don't want you to have your account hacked, your uh, information stolen, your computer put a virus or whatever it may be. OK, until you have the right information from the company, do not download anything. And remember. There's only one place to download it from, and that is your ecosystem. You don't even have, don't even want you, we don't even want you to go directly to Google Play. We don't even want you to go directly to your iOS to download it. We want you to click the links that are on the official sites, okay? That is on passive.com and or in your ecosystem, okay? So please spread the word around. Uh, if you do see people posting saying Otrim is now on the app stores, just put some warnings on there for people. So we try and get the message out that people should not download it until it has been officially confirmed by the company and the link will be available within your ecosystem. OK, so please post that out. Other news then uh, today, uh, obviously 360, that is coming up uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, which is 6 p.m. for UK. Last one, by the way, our clocks change this coming uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning, the 31st, uh, and we'll all go back to normal again. Uh, so it's 3 p.m. for UK, 4 p.m. for Europe, and obviously 2 p.m. for Eastern. Uh, as you heard from Chris, Johnson, that our CEO, as always, has been given an invite to come on with us. If he comes, great. If he doesn't, we've still got lots of information for you, including a seven-day recap as well. A uh, big thank you, by the way, for everybody who sent messages out to Jane and I yesterday. Uh, we went to a funeral. This is why we've changed 360 for this one. Uh, 
if a funeral was a good one, this was right up there with a fantastic funeral. It was, for me, an amazing funeral. There was, I thought there was well in excess of 500 people there to give Arthur a good sent off. Uh, Colonel Daniel Lee, thank you so much for your super sticker and hamburger. That's very kind of you. Uh, he was a local builder in the Portsmouth area. We drove down uh, to pay our respects to him. And it was just an amazing service. He arrived on the back of one of his flatbed uh, wagons with the rest of his uh, works vans in convoy behind him. And it, re it really was a very fitting uh, send off for an amazing guy. Uh, the, the service itself, I thought, was exactly what he would have wanted. Uh, spot on. And obviously the wake afterwards was getting... Uh, very exciting. Obviously, Jane and I, uh, we abstained because we were driving, but it looked like uh, they were telling some good stories about Arthur Peach, that's for sure. Uh, but it really does start making you think a little bit, doesn't it, about your life and life in general. And uh, this really is cementing our decision to live on a narrow boat and to enjoy as much of life, in inverted commas, as we possibly can because it's not guaranteed is it and the older i'm getting <laughs> the more i'm realizing uh that as well so uh for a send off it really was good also uh other news 10 day extension to o connect which is actually a little bit earlier than normally normally we run right up to the day uh, but this is coming three days early because it was actually going to be on Sunday, the run out day. So it will now show uh, for most of us 13 days left uh, for O-Connect. O-Track is still the same at three days, uh, but I'm sure that will get extended as well. And I just do want to reiter reiterate once again that um, the reasons we're having a delay is because there is still a problem with money coming in and money, more importantly, going out. And until that is fixed, uh, there will not be any um, products released for sale, okay, because I know that it is the wish of our CEO and the company for money to flow both ways freely, okay, without any hassle, without any glitches or anything like that. And this is why the pause on payments has been made because there's, it's easy for money to come into the company, in all honesty. Uh, there's not a problem with money going in, uh, but they have to certainly fix with how money is going out. OK, so please bear with the company. OK, don't worry. Nothing's happening. No one's going anywhere. We're here. The company is expanding and building all of the time, guys. You can just see this if you plug in to uh, the official channels on Passive, Omedia, uh, etc. You will glean a lot of information. Obviously, I try and uh, bring you this information as much as I possibly can. Talking of this, I know I've been away for a couple of days, had heating problems on the boat. Now we are toasty warm. Very nice. Uh, and also uh, very light in my pocket as well. But hey, that doesn't matter. Uh, just to bring you update, if you haven't heard as well, Omedia sent out a new video yesterday, maybe, or maybe the day before. Might have been Tuesday, I believe, uh, which was a recap of February. This is something they're going to be doing on a regular basis now. And this is to categorize what has happened through that month. Uh, that's been released. Uh, go and have a look at it. It's a great video, like Fatima has said. Uh, it really does show you what they've been up to behind the scenes. And this is why it really is important to watch these kinds of videos, because it gives you a very good insight that if things aren't happening in your ecosystem, uh, if things aren't moving in areas that you would expect it to, does not mean to say that there is not a lot of work being done behind the scenes as far as the company is concerned. And really, um, this is how business is done. 
most business is done behind the scenes. You only have to look at countries of how they do collaborations, amalgamations, uh, when they have United Nations, uh, the summits, you know, all of these types of things. What are they actually doing at these big events? These countries are making partnerships, amalgamations, doing business behind the scenes. On passive is no different. And every other large company is no different whatsoever. This is exactly what happens. If you are on a managerial level in your business or working for somebody at a managerial level, you will already know this about the amount of business that gets done on the phones, face to face, people flying all over the place to do deals, etc. On passive is no different. We are collaborating, partnershiping, doing all sorts of things with all sorts of people to expand not only the name of OnPassive, but the business of OnPassive, but more importantly, the competence of people with OnPassive. Now, one very important point I'd like to bring to the table to you is this. We've seen, haven't we, some of the partnerships that they've done already. And I mean, these are big partnerships. League of uh, Arabic Nations, for instance, we are uh, doing stuff with these type of people, what they're doing in Egypt as well. Uh, Supercars Majlis, the police, uh, federations, etc. All these types of things. Why are we doing business with these people? A, because it's good for the company. It breeds uh, a lot of confidence externally because they know that we are working with these people. But flip that over. These people, would they do business with on passive if they were wary, worried about on passive, if they didn't think that we were a legit company, if they didn't see what we are achieving, if they haven't looked behind the curtains of how we operate and how we do things, do you think that these well-respected people would put their business and their name as a partnership and collaboration with on passive? The answer is no, they wouldn't. And you should take a lot of uh, faith, truth and solace in the knowledge that this is happening all the time behind the scenes. This is a really, really good thing for not only the company, but more importantly, us. It secures the business. It makes us a much more embedded business in the business world because we're not just a fly by night. You know, we've been around a little bit now, haven't we? You know, we've shown that we are passionate about what we are doing. They know that the technology and the products that we are producing are second to none. They are the best of the best and they are only going to get better because of the improvements that we are making and see what we are trying to achieve and where we are trying to go. That is why it is important to do business with other respectable companies because it adds that effect of confidence, respect to us by having this association. And I love the fact that they make their own choice and decision about on passive. They pay zero lip service to a YouTube channel, what they might have read or what they might have heard. Businesses don't do that sort of thing. Businesses go straight to the owner or higher execs. They make an inquiry to say what they want to do. They get invited to the company, which they have, to have a look behind the scenes, to see the workings, see what is the setup, how things are going to progress. And then that is how they make their choice. And that is how they make their decision to want to partner with on passive because they can see behind the scenes. We can't. We're just affiliates within the business. We are 
a little bit. We are obviously better and higher up the sort of food chain, I suppose, than maybe a user is because we've been here for a long time. Many of us are founders, but we are uh, now we are affiliates. We have a little bit more skin in the game as far as on passive is concerned. So we want to know a little bit more about the company. But we're never going to be in a position like business and companies are and countries to have a look behind those scenes. But one thing's for sure is businesses would not be wanting to align themselves to collaborate, to partner with us if we were dodgy. That is for sure. Why? Because their reputation is at stake as much as our reputation. Anyway. Uh, 360 then coming up at the two o'clock Eastern and 6 p.m. for the UK, seven for Europe. Please come along. You never know. And I say it every time. You never know who might turn up. Are we expecting to see Ash Mufara? Who knows? He has been around uh, last weekend twice on Friday and Saturday. Are we going to see him today on Thursday? Who knows? I hope so. As always. Why wouldn't we want to see our CEO? Anyway, guys, I'm going to say a few hellos. Then I am going to be out of here. We'll start off with the people in green. You are the tea clubbers. And thank you once again, as always, guys. I really, from here, uh, for your support, makes such a difference to us. So we'll start off with Wanda Cooper. Hello to you and Curtis Strickland and Kaylee Abdi Alasso and Gina Lever. Uh, Satya Papu, you are there as well. Hello, my friend. Greg Greisner and the lovely Fatima. Hi to you guys. Uh, Charlotte uh, Petrina, lovely name. Krista Grazia. We've also got Stuart Molyneux. Uh, I hope that was okay for you today, Stuart. Jarmo is sunning himself in Tenerife. Uh, we've also got, who else have we got there? Uh, Abdel Asso I said hello to. Uh, any more greeners? Yeah, Listra T. Hello to you, Pushpin Media Bolly Hoo Hoo. Uh, we've also got Gina Lever. Hello, you beautiful souls. Jerry Nix is in the casa. Hello to you guys. We'll move over then. We'll start off with then Cynthia Deering, Saddam Hussein, <laughs> uh, Frank Rowe, Nanita Santos, Ilias, and Robert McGahey, Joe Sordo, Joyce Hicks is there. T Club in it, along with Birgit Johansson and Alejandro. Angela Lynn, uh, you are there as well. All tea clubbers, Laurie Lunn, uh, Mabei, Rosip, and Vina Benny. Hi to you, Medina, and Ajit, uh, Diana Mayer. Hi to you, Frank Rowe. Oh, I've just missed a tea clubber. Who was that, Chris? Somebody? Sh uh, Charlotte Petrina again. That's who that was. Elsie Patch, Turin Yar, Dom uh, Mavis Brony, Sek Matua, Ashok Tiriki, maybe? Godson Sin, uh, Dominic Henderson, Nunny Santos, Oliver Tom, hi to you. Roy Davis from Florida. Uh, we've also got Mary Tienda. You are there, Dominic Henderson, Lonnie Nijiden, Nijihe, oh, giving up on the surname. Michael C., you are there, along with Michael Champagne, saw you earlier. Cynthia Deering, Yosef Addo, Praveen Kumar, Shimul Mola, I think that is. Vulcan and uh, who else? James Hawkins is give me the thumbs up. And Georgina, Georgine, Jean, Jean, Gina. Hi to you. Uh, Michael Chatter, you are there. A couple more then, then I'm out of here. We'll do Frank Rowe, uh, Christina Dodds, and the last one will go Vinja, G Virginia, Ginger DeSanto. That's it from me for today, guys. See you all on 360. Be there because you never know who might turn up. And obviously, I shall do the seven day recap. That's it from me. Thanks so much, guys, for popping by. See you all very soon. Bye for now.